The first Kenyans in action were the women's 400 meters runners. Joy Zachary booked her ticket to the semis after registering 52.98 seconds in hit one. Grace Kidake also sailed through after finishing third in the second hit. Catherine Nandi was fourth in the third hit and also sailed through. In the men's race, Vincent Momo won hit one in 46.73 seconds and therefore will be in action during the semifinals. Commonwealth Games champion Mark Mutai finished fourth in hit three and also sailed through. However, Anderson Moreta had a false start and was eliminated from the race. The program was disrupted after a heavy storm pounded the stadium, rendering it unfit to host any event. The running track was flooded, forcing the officials to cancel all races. Organizers were seen carrying delicate equipment off the field. Now, two straight finals involving Kenyans have been affected by the heavy rains pounding Port Novo. They include the women's hammer, where Linda Oseso was expected to win a medal, and the 10,000 meters, where our men were expected to clinch at least a medal. Well, it started from the get-go, so my first throw was start, it started drizzling, so my throw was okay. It was not up to par, but it was an, an opener. And then the rain started coming and the hammer started coming out of my hand, so... Despite the shortcoming, Oseso is optimistic that she will return home with a medal. I think we do. I just need to be in my A game and stay healthy, not <laughs> get sick with the rain. So, okay. yeah, staying healthy and praying to God first, make, you know, just enjoying the moment. The organizers will have a difficult task trying to complete the program since they are already behind schedule. Geoff Rashira, Citizen TV, Port Novo, Benin.